Look right where it says prepay. I mean, yeah, see that? Right, excellent. That was excellent. The first note on sanctuary, prepare me, Jesus, there on the top line. That would be the woman. Prepare so you Jesus. have a uh, an eighth note going to a? Gordon. And the next note is what? Two what? Eight. Yeah, two eighth notes. Tied to another eighth, eighth note and then another eighth note. Okay, so we'll talk more about this. I don't want to give you too much in one day, but that's very good. All right, the last... <laughs> I hear you, man. No, 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 basic to the basic, basic? I mean, this is just good stuff to get you rhythmically aware. Come on, bro. Remember, guys, you don't have to like have this mastered or anything. <clears throat> but it's just good to, to have a basic knowledge of what we're doing. Steve, are you with me on that? Are you awake? You need coffee? All right, Steve. Well, so now, Colton, what do you think these are called? Sixteenth uh, notes. Excellent. Sixteenth note. Man, our evangelist is one. is one brilliant dude. Man. Sixteenth notes. Well, That's right. So see that? Basic math. It's like calculus. Come on. We have <laughs> quarter notes, half notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth Ooh. notes. Now the way we count sixteenth notes are one A and A, two A and A, three A and A, four A and A. You got it? Some people say E and A, E, e and E, or whatever. But <laughs> what, so Berkeley's got his own terminology. One so A and A, two A and A. That's right. So let's try that. One A and A, two A and A, three A and A, four A and A, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, that's why we start slow. Come on! Let's take a little bit slower. So be one A and day, two A and day, three A and day, four A and day, one, two, three, four. One and two and three and 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 four. One two three four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Let's play out. Take it nice and slow. Two, three, four. I want you to count with it. Two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. One A and A, two A and A, three A and A, four A and A, two A and A, three A and A, four A and A, one, two, three, four, one A and two A and three A and four A and one, two and three, four. All right, nice. So just today, uh, 
uh, we're going to do it this way, but from now on, we'll, we'll be using a metronome. Whoa. Because if you notice, I mean, it's, it's difficult, but yeah. we can definitely slip in our time, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go a little faster. Yeah. No. Guys, that is so detrimental to when we're leading the uh, congregation. Because yeah. if we're unsure of ourselves and we're slowing down and speeding up, I mean, you just get all these flams going mm -hmm. the, in, the, in the congregation. Sure. So timing is very crucially important. So we'll be using a metronome. And I'll tell you, it's, it's really convicting when you use a legend of how mm -hmm. far off you can get. <laughs> but we'll do that. Cool? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. But good work? Good work. Okay? Everything cool with that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. Good stuff. Come on, Sal. Come on, Sal. Come on, Sal. All right. Let's, let's do a little bit of air training here. <coughs> because... <coughs> Oh, sorry. Another very important aspect of song leading and leading the congregation is making sure that we maintain our pitch. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because a lot of times what can happen is our pitch can float around, and, and then what happens is you got half of the church singing one pitch and half church. You, you ever notice that sometimes? Yeah. And it's just kind of like, whoa, what happened, right? But that really is the responsibility of the song leader to make sure that they're maintaining the pitch. So ear training is very, very key to that. So no better way to practice ear training than to practice ear training, also known as soul fetch. Oh, yeah. Soul fetch. Soul fetch. Basic soul fetch. This is known as Kevin the scale C scale C major scale now we already said that a C major scale has what for a key signature Not a, no C. sharps no flats so all the natural notes. so if I'm on a piano and I look at it it's just going to be all the white keys Come. Actually, is the syllables that you use? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now, here in the United States, we do solfege a little bit differently than other countries, specifically Europe, where this came out of. We use a system called movable do. So, just like I told you that there are many keys. These would apply to the actual notes, uh, the degrees of the key. So if I'm in the key of G, G would be Do. In Europe, C is always Do. So no matter what key they're in, if you're C, it's Do. But here what we do is, this applies to whatever key you're in. So if you're in the key of G, G would be Do. So G, so if I go up, G would be Do, A would be Re, B would be Mi, Fa, yeah, okay. All right, so let's let's all sing together some soul fetch. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, Jay is like, oh, bring it on, baby. Let's fetch out. So.
Focus. No. <laughs> 